Hello, Darren. Hello, Darren. It's um, it's Christmas. Well, it is. It's. It, I mean, it's it's Christmas for uh, half the year, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when you're watching this video, that particular day is either happening or it's happened. Oh, hold on. We're putting this out on Christmas Day, are we? This is Christmas Day. Well, Hello. here's the thing. I mean, the 12 days of Christmas, do they start on Christmas Day? These are all the things that better, better YouTubers than us would have um, worked out, wouldn't they? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, well, this is going out on Christmas Day. Um, it's, uh, it'll be of no surprise to viewers to know that it's not yeah. actually Christmas Day as we are filming it. Yeah. Uh, happy Christmas um, in that case. Happy Christmas, viewers. Yeah, both of you. Thank you. So, uh, like ghosts and Doctor Who and Morecambe and Wise, yeah, uh, Brentwood Tuxedo is doing a Christmas special. Right. How uh, is it? Well, it was your idea. Uh, we are going to do the 12 toys of Christmas. I think some of them will be toys that we owned. Yep. Um, some of them might be toys we wanted and never got. Ooh. I quite like that. Oh. I quite like, you know, the could have beens. Um, some might even be toys. Some might not even be more, toys, yeah. more gifts. Yeah. Now, we say 12. We're hoping to do 12 videos. Um, <laughs> if we both did a different toy in each video, there would actually be 24. But oh, um, <laughs> we're saying it's the our own personal 12 each. Let's see how we do, shall we? Yeah, we may we may get to like I've definitely got six. I may get to eight and start panicking that I can't think of anymore. But I hadn't thought of the um toys we wished we got, but never did. That's a good one. Oh, see, well, see, that's exactly where my brain went first of all, actually. Right. Um, but this this first toy um is one I got. <laughs> I recognise and... it instantly. Yeah, that's good because I actually yes. thought I, I actually think I've got the proportions very badly wrong. Uh, well, I'm bad. not worrying about proportions in my video, so I think it's good. No, no. I mean, I I wasn't wor I wouldn't say I was worried about the proportions. No, but I'm still quite staggered by how long this bonnet is. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, here's the thing. Uh, and let me let me let me draw that. Let me put this bit on to, to illustrate it. Somebody somebody might be watching this and going, well, "I don't know what that toy is that Darren's Darren's doing. I don't know what that's from." Well, here's the thing that I forgot when I uh, was looking for images of it online. Yeah. I think rather negates the job of the driver. Here's a car, obviously. Yeah. And on the front of the car here, it has a sticker. Right. Now, given the job of the driver, do you not yes. think it's somewhat an error to have his code name. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on the bonnet of the car. <laughs> Is that like, it's just advertising. You're trying to get some more business. <laughs> well, I mean, it's quite, it's, it's quite often argued, isn't it? As to who was the superior fictional uh, spy, you know, was it, 
was it James Bond? Or 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 was it George Smiley? You know, from um, Tinker Sa- Taylor Soldier Spy and uh, Smiley's People. Mm. Uh, John Le Carre's quietly spoken, owl-like, professorial, uh, master of espionage. Because I don't remember Smiley having George Smiley of the circus. <laughs> no, <laughs> on, his, on, his on the side of on, on his mini match. <laughs> <laughs> He missed the trick there. Um, oh, can you c- keep them organised? I, I, I need a little bit of uh, lots of paper. James Bond car. That was a good car, the Lotus. Went underwater. Did I just say keep them organised or did I say keep them entertained? You said keep them organised. I quite like it. I think that's what I'm going to say when I go. Whenever I leave, I'm going to say, keep them organised. <laughs> I, so, I, really, I don't think I kept anybody organised, I'm afraid. <laughs> Did you have this toy that I'm drawing? Oh, I think I did. Yes, yes, I think I did have it. I, re- I distinctly remember playing with it, and I don't feel like it was somewhere else's toy. So, yeah. They'd have it. Those fins would pop out, wouldn't they? Yeah. So in 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 the film, and this is like one of the first cars I ever knew the name of. Yes, me too, I bet. Like my dad told me what the name was. Now it's clearly at the time they had some kind of uh, deal with Lotus. And it's a Lotus Esprit. Yep. Like a classic um, car. And my ownership of this uh, car is actually uh, immortalised in song. My, 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 yes, I've got a, 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 a Christmas song called Blue Tinsel, Red Tinsel. And in it, in the second verse, it's pretty much about me getting this, uh, ah. this toy and unwrapping it. And, and I list what it can do. <laughs> yeah, it go, it, it's, it's a car that could turn into a submarine. Um, and so in the film, it actually has proper wheels, but of course to make it for kids, it doesn't have wheels here. It's just all metal and, and, and it had little oh, runners right. underneath. And then this switch at the top, actually, no, there's two switches. This is a switch. Yeah, I see it now, Darren. You've moved your uh, camera. Oh, oh no, I haven't. My camera's oh, on you've the moved droop. Your pad. No, my camera's on the <laughs> droop. I haven't tightened my nut. On the droop. Happens to us all. It's been like that for a while. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, right. I, um, I'm not sure. Often discussed behind the scenes on Rent with Tuxedo is when will Darren, yeah. this Darren, me Darren, get a proper setup so that my, <laughs> my camera doesn't droop. Right, yes. So this button, I think, on the front, on the bonnet, Flip, uh, yep. made the fins come out and turn the car into a submarine. Yep, yep, I think it did. And and the lever on the top fired four red missiles. Yes. I'm right. not sure if it fired them one after another or all at once. Hmm. I think they may have been all at once. Hmm. I think it might have been a bit tricky to make make it so it fired them separately. Yeah, that seems like that would be a quite a bit of technology for a uh, wonder what yeah. year it was what film well, when was, was the film what film's it from I oh, love me right 78 77 see I also think what's strange about that memory is like so I would have been 7 or 8 so could you go at 7 or 8 and go and see this man like boning any woman who came comes within five feet of him, <laughs> killing and strangling and electrocuting people. I mean, was that all right? Was that all right that I was allowed to see that? I think it was because they were on the telly. I definitely saw Bond films around that age. But then I, I suppose if I had this toy, I suppose I, I suppose someone took me to the cinema to see it, didn't they? 
Not necessarily. This is the weird thing with kids' toys. Sometimes you'll get a, a you'd be a, a tying toy that was massive, but you wouldn't actually have um, seen the film that it was tied into. I know what you mean. Uh, with my friend Rebecca, uh, uh, kid Kellum, a few years ago, he was young, and he was banging to Star Wars, Star Wars this, Star Wars that, and I started talking to him about it. And then Rebecca's like, oh, no, he hasn't seen the film. It's, it's too old. Uh-huh. For it. you know, and I suppose he's right. Like Star Wars has, you know, people's limbs getting chopped off and stuff. It's not something you want to show your youngest kid, right? Mm. And so, so, yeah, I think you're right. I think kids can be sort of fans of the idea of something. And maybe I could then. Maybe I just heard James Bond's underwater car. Yeah, maybe. And maybe that's all I needed. Ah, it's interesting, that, isn't it? Yeah. So I certainly don't have as clear a memory of going to the cinema to see The Spy Who Loved Me. No, oh, it was 1977. Uh, Same Star Wars year. I can't, I don't imagine I went to see a James Bond film at seven. No, I don't either. No. I strange. Well, can, can, also, can yeah. we not find out whether it's even possible? Like, can't we find out the certificate of the film? And that would tell us even if it was possible that I saw it, wouldn't it? Could do. Uh, we could do. I can't be I can't be bothered, but <laughs> I know, I know, you're asking me to do it. I know that. It's uh um ooh. only because you draw quicker. <laughs> and I've got the iPad right in front of me. BBFC is what I'm looking for, isn't it? What was it? PG. No, okay. it's currently PG, you see. So I, currently so, I, PG. so I could have seen it, couldn't I? That means a parent could have taken me to see it. Yeah, well, oh, hang on. No, this is the, um, that was the certification for the bonus materials. <laughs> Quite hard to find out because of um, things get revised, but no. Original rating was A. And I think that was the PG. I think that I think that's meant, PG. Yeah. I think that meant you could yeah. go as could long as you were. I still can't. I don't think I ever saw a James Bond film at the cinema until I was an adult. Okay. Right. Are you ready for this? Right. I've got a little bit of a hot take coming up. Okay. Are you ready for this? I don't really like James Bond. <laughs> That's all right. I find it. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of elements of it. Like I'm a yeah. fan of the remembering the gadgets. I have yeah. opinions about it. And there's certainly some really good memories of certain films when I was young. I particularly remember the, what's the one where he has the sort of one-man helicopter backpack thing. Of the backpack? Like a jet? Like he's... um. Yeah, he's like a, like a little heli... Oh, maybe it's a, oh, is it a helicopter or... Oh, there's one where he makes a helicopter out of a suitcase, doesn't he? There's a suitcase. That would be... Um, oh, it's the one in Japan. That's in Japan. You only live twice? Yes, which is... They've got... Possibly the best uh, music as well. I well, think. this is the other thing as well. I am yeah. a huge, huge fan of the music. I have got yeah. all of the main soundtracks, and I don't just mean the theme tunes. In fact, I'm not that bored about the theme tunes. I love the incidental yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's really great. Yeah, yeah, um, it's great. Um, I love all that, but. You want to watch them, you know. You know what? I, you know what I really don't like about them. What? <laughs> this is shocking. I, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. <laughs> the quips. He's just such a prick, isn't he? He's just Bond. a real. He's a real prick. I mean, regardless <laughs> like, of who the actor is, just Bond Regardless character. of who the actor, all of them yeah. play him as a prick. And I reckon, like, when yes, they're hanging out, like the spy canteen, 
I reckon like 005 is like, oh, fucking hell. Here comes Bond. <laughs> how, how do I like my coffee? <laughs> Shaking uh, like a latte. Uh. It's just such a knob. Is he not the job? I think I'll like that, do you think? No, I don't reckon. Oh, well, Smiley isn't, is he? Yeah, but he's not got a licence to kill. I think, I, think, I, think, I think Smiley's Smiley's got blood in his ledger. Yeah, I don't know. I think all these people, you know, hey, you want to get a job, at, you want to get a double O certificate, mate. You can kill people. It's great. <laughs> Right, well, we've, we've talked a lot about mine. What's going on over in, uh, what's going on up in Bolton there? What's it, what, what year of Christmas is this? And, 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 and what is young Darren uh, excited to receive? I better check the year, actually. Um, let's have a look. It's a, a grandstand scramble, which was a tabletop um, video game. Right, okay. Scramble. 1982. Help me out a bit with Scramble. Yeah. Well, which one is that? Which one is it? Is it a a horizontal one? A horizontal. Horizontal. Yeah. Yeah. You've got. You can shoot rockets and you can drop bombs. Yeah. You shoot rockets at the ships that are approaching from the right, and you drop bombs on the (coughs) the baddies that are down below you. Go how on, much? Roughly. How many of these toys from the seventies? These boys' toys yeah. that we had when we were young are going to be about killing. <laughs> <laughs> and- <laughs> I mean, there is that, I suppose. Yeah, uh, never really. <laughs> Funnily enough, one of my other games uh, later on that I'm going to be drawing is uh, all about killing. Funnily enough, uh, yeah. Your car is obviously about killing. Um, <laughs> we like there you go. You see, James Bond <laughs> killing. You can kill people. It's ass. <laughs> um, so, um, what I vividly remember. There's a couple of things I vividly remember about this game. One is the tune that started before each level, and it's the uh, shitty eight bit chip, and it'd be. Just that, I vividly remember it still. And remarkably, I found that tune on a, there's an emulator of it on the um, Internet Archive website. And I went to play it, and the minute that tune kicked in, I was transported back straight yeah. away. Yeah. Right. The other thing I remember about this was, I'd asked for it for Christmas, and I was still, I was 82, I would have been nine, still at the age where you weren't sure you were going to get what you asked for. You know, now it's kind of like you ask for, my mum will still ask me if, if what I want for Christmas. I will tell her, and I know that she's got it for me. Um, there were still surprises and secrets. The Christmas is a... Uh... This is dead cruel, isn't it? I think. It's what, sorry? This is dead cruel, I think, with children. Like, mm. You know, you would go back to the playground, wouldn't you? And what did you get? And, like, I mean, I remember there being kids definitely more well off and spoilt than me, and kids less. You know, I don't, I think I was in the middle yeah. somewhere, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think if I asked for things, I got some and didn't get others. I don't know, you know. Yeah, yeah. But well, I remember that like, I'd asked for it, and I was really excited, hoping I was going to get it. And bizarrely, I can still picture it sitting in the bath on a Sunday night, and the wall opposite me. I was imagining it was a a, a massive screen of scramble, and I was playing it. And, it was cinematic, this this game. I couldn't wait to get it. And what is really strange and, and shows how things have changed now is that when I did get it and it's just 
LEDs on a little tiny. Yeah, is, is this one of those screen? games? It where, was still one of those games where it's really just like you. You can see there's different lights to light up the position of the, the ship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But weirdly, it was still cinematic. It was still like, whoa, this is great. I loved it. And it, I'd be interested. It, you know, it's not possible to take someone from that time, put them in a time machine, and show them video games now, where you're totally immersed in the world. And. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I, well, I mean, last year, um, I played Grand Theft Auto with a teenager for an hour or so. Right. I mean, I don't know that. Like, it definitely looks better. Yeah. And stuff, but I don't know really whether the experience of playing it was much different to the experience of playing. I don't know. It felt like, oh, I'm playing a computer game again. Like <laughs> when I was playing uh, Way of the Exploding Fist. Oh, um, that's good. good. Well, so I think the, the, the only difference with, with Grand Theft Auto, I think you're right. Very often, you know, gameplay is still just gameplay to, to a large extent. It's still sort of go well, here, find the thing, isn't it? It's still... Yeah, yeah. What GTA did, which was something I always used to think, again, as a kid, uh, and it wasn't a radical thought. I'm sure loads of game players had the idea, and that's why these games developed, is that you used to have a, a driving game or you'd buy a flying game or a shooting game. Uh, and there may be, like, missions, you know, you've got to... Um, Got to go and like find some baddies in, in, uh, oh, God knows where. Like, it's usually some made up country that sounds a bit like Russia. Um, and I'd always thought, but we've got flying games. Why can't we? It'd be great if you had this game and you could fly to that place before you did, uh, did the mission where you've got to go and get the baddies. And then you'd think, maybe you could drive to the airbase. Then get in the plane, then go and land and be on foot and find the baddies. And that's really all that Grand Theft Auto has done. It's just put lots yeah. of different game genres yeah. together and made this open world. But but ultimately, it as much as I enjoy these games, and one one of those modern games will pop up in my list. Um Sometimes you're sitting at the kitchen table with your little LED lights and a little stick and two buttons was kind of all you needed to really like have a magical experience. I uh, never had any of those. I never had any of those handheld games. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's I didn't want them or I wanted them but didn't get them. But uh, you know, I, ne I never had any of them. Hmm. I did eventually have a ZX81. Yeah. Which just did not work. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my poor dad constantly taking it back to the shop and then we'd have the RAM pack and the RAM pack wouldn't work. They were pieces of shit. I do remember playing a game called Mazogs on it. Right. Don't know that one. And then a few years after that, I upgraded to a Commodore 64, which I might, oh, I, might, so I might, I might, I might, I might, they might come up, prop up in some of these. Did the ZX81 put you off getting a Spectrum? Yeah, I, I yeah. think I'd have it with, with Clive Sinclair. I think he could do one. And I felt totally vindicated. <laughs> like, I still think they were fools. <laughs> The Spectrum people, the little silly rattlery right. well, and I'll tell you like what. That. So, I'm going to give away one of the future videos. I will be drawing a Spectrum. So maybe you could draw a Commodore at that one. Let's because... let's 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 duke it out. Yes, exactly. We can fight yeah. because everyone knows that the computer they owned as a kid was the best one. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's my toy. 
as my toy. I think we did well there. Nice question. I should remind viewers, we're trying to keep these short because probably a bit busy. It's Christmas. But, you know. <sighs> also, be interesting to see if more people watch our videos if they're not like two hours of us wagging all about comics. <laughs> Very good. Well, bye, say bye, goodbye, bye, Darren. Darren. Bye, Darren. Bye, Darren. <laughs>